Hi, everybody. Well, it's that time again. It's, uh, I got to get my results from my CT scan. And I always promise to let you know, good or bad, how it is. So if you recall, about six or seven months ago, we had that scare, or I had that scare, should I say, where they notice a like a growth on my lungs that had grown in, in size, and they were a little panicky about it, and uh, we had to go and I had to get more CT scans because I had a chest cold at the time, and that could affect it, and it turned out that's exactly what it was. I had the cold. It grew the molecules in my lungs, it distorted them, and then as soon as the cold was over and I did two more additional CT scans, they continued to shrink back to normal, which was good, because that was a very scary thing, because it was back on the lungs, and you know, if uh, once it spreads through your lungs, there's very, very little chance of coming back from it, and I've been lucky, knock, knock, knock on wood so far. but. Just before my last cruise on the Holland America, doing the transatlantic, I went for another CT scan, and they did chest, abdomen, my colon, my hips, basically everything they could do in this general area, they took. Um, three separate doctors were going to look at three different aspects. And that's a little scary in, in itself when you go. Um, but I have good news to report. My doctor called me up and she goes, hi, Don. I go, hi. And she, she says, well, your luck continues. There is nothing on your scans. Everything looks clear. There's no new growths. There's no enlargements. There's just scar tissue from your surgeries. Everything looks wonderful. And I'm like, like literally my eyes started to swell up a little bit with, uh, with emotion um because you never know right every time you hear those words you're, you're you're calling your doctor you do not know it can come back at any time it can come back really really strong it, who knows but to hear her say that there was nothing nothing on any of my scans all three doctors said nothing which is amazing amazing news um and i i still attribute it to all you know, I, I had a pretty rough time at one point. Um, as some of you know, when I was going through the worst of my chemo, I looked horrible. I was down in the dumps. But I uh, I had this channel, uh, Cruising with Dawn, Dawn's Family Vacations, and I started this channel. And this gives me something to do. This gives me a reason to be, shall we say. And it gives uh, a great joy to my life right now that I can do these things and... Uh, I can also spread a little bit of, you know, positivity out there because I'm a firm believer that positivity was 95% of the battle along with my doctors. My doctors are wonderful. Uh, the hospitals here in Ottawa, Canada have been nothing but terrific for me and I will continue to, to praise them beyond belief. But if I would have remained in those doldrums and remained you know, stuck in my house and don't get out and don't do anything, I, I firmly believe that I would not have been able to fight this off and I would have continued, you know, down the wrong path, shall we say. So I'm very excited to say that Positivity and my doctors and you guys out there have kept me going and um, for some of you might not be good news, but I'm still going to be here. <laughs> I got a couple people out there who are going, oh, and believe it or not, there are people like that. But I just wanted to say if anyone is going through these kind of treatments or any kind of bad news out there with yourself, your loved ones, your friends, keep positive, stay positive, do what the doctors say, and don't think that it's over because it's never over till it's over. If people tend to you know, well, I'm not going to go do that chemo. It, I don't think it's going to do any good. And then it doesn't do any good because you didn't go do it, right? 
and, and it's hard because I'm not, I, I was in that position at one point where uh, on my fourth term of chemo, right? Months and months and months and then a break and then more months and then a break and then more months. And then the fourth one, I could have just said, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to go through this anymore. And then this story would have been much, much different. So I implore everybody to just please don't give up and stay positive and support anyone going through it because that's the biggest thing. If you're going through these things alone, it can really, you know, hit you hard. It can feel isolated and emotional draining that you just don't want to do it anymore. And the more support, the more love and sharing and, you know, just somebody calling up to say, hi, how are you? How are you doing? Dropping in for a friendly visit can make the world of difference to somebody going through stuff. And I'm one of the most independent people you will ever, ever meet. But I tell you, doing things like going to a movie once a week with my nephews or, you know, having my son pop in and play video games with me or just a phone call from my daughter, anything like that just made this stuff go so much better and smoother. And I implore everybody, if you know somebody, keep in touch because it really does make a difference. Well, that's it. It is... It is just some good news today, I think. Good news uh, and bad news is that you're going to have to put up me with me <laughs> for a little bit longer at least. <laughs> <laughs>